beans don't have the best of reputations in this country, but I'm out to prove that they're more than just a wrinkly grey side dish at a Sunday roast. We Brits might not love them, but the Egyptians certainly do. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're the Egyptian representative for broad bean loving. Yes, I am. Great. I hope I do a good job. Heba lives up the road from me, and like most Egyptians, cooks and eats broad beans on a daily basis. Can we have a lot of beans, please? Yeah. You have to choose or I Are you happy with these ones? Yeah, I am. What do you call broad beans in Arabic? And we call it full harati. Full harati. Full harati. Full harati. Yeah. In Egypt, the broad bean is a staple part of the diet, eaten by rich and poor alike. What do you think the English problem with broad beans is? Um, maybe people don't know what to do with them, and maybe they're a bit time-consuming because they have to, you know, um, unplug the, them. That's, that's the nice meditative part. Yeah, that's the, the fun of them. Yeah, we're going to those in your nice yeah, bag. Yeah, we're going to say my man bag. It's a very nice man bag. Thanks a lot. Great. Heba and I are hosting a picnic later on, and we're going to make two different dishes with our broad bean bounty. And as it's her kitchen, it's ladies first. OK, Val, we're going to need a lot of uh, broad beans over here, so let's get pudding. Is that much? Yeah. Do Egyptian women run the kitchen at home? Yes, yeah, so I would say across the board. That's their territory kind of thing. Well, I will just do what I'm told then. <laughs> yes. Heba's making a traditional Egyptian dish called ful akhda bil kudra, a stew of broad beans, rice and beef. They feel so nice as well, broad beans. Yeah, I just love like their fluffy cushion. insides yeah, exactly. and soft, velvety outsides. Everything about them it gives a feeling of joy. We've only got a few more left. Come on. More, more podding, less chatting. And there's me thinking it was going to be a relaxing morning. I'm going to get you to do all the dirty work. Ah. We'll get the beef on soon, too. OK, OK, so hurry up. <laughs> Under Madam's orders, I chop half a kilo of beef into perfect cubes. Is that to uh, Cleopatra's liking? Yeah, well, I would say so. Great. <laughs> The approved beef goes into the pan along with diced onion, dill and coriander. Oh, my God, it smells fantastic. Yes. But there's no time to idle in Heber's kitchen as she sets me to work pounding 12 cloves of garlic. Keep going, keep going. Your bossy side is coming out. <laughs> yes, it will. We add my favourite broad beans along with three tablespoons of basmati rice. Heber dry fries the garlic with some chard. Wow, what a smell. Once it's cooked for a further 10 minutes, it's ready. And after all that hard work, I can't wait. It smells, it smells heavenly. You can smell all the different flavours. You can smell well. all the different things. Mm. Ladies first. Give us a spoon. Oh, yeah, sorry. What's that about you? I want beans, I want meat, I want. Don't burn your tongue. <laughs> That is absolutely sensational. Broad beans grow amazingly well in Britain, and a crop sown in early spring will be ready to harvest mid to late summer. They're delicious and incredibly versatile, so why aren't we eating more of them? Broad beans are so popular in Egypt that they're dried and used all year round in dishes such as full medames, the national dish. Oh, that smells absolutely delicious. Yeah. The beans are stewed overnight with lentils and chickpeas in an Egyptian slow cooker. This is all-day Egyptian breakfast. All-day Egyptian breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Heber's mezestal Egyptian creations will be perfect for our picnic.